couple more uh, security, formal security models here. Um, and starting off with uh, Biba. Uh, this, uh, now, interestingly, um, this uh, initially seems to be just a, an inversion of the uh, Bella Padula model, um, but it's actually got uh, some additional components here, and so um, it is uh, uh, a, a lattice model, um, and, and therefore, uh, you know, multilateral, multi, uh, multi-dimensional. Uh, in in some regards, um, we won't go that far uh, into it. But um, uh, the uh, the Bible model um, is a uh, um, we're looking at uh, integrity, uh, where uh, Bella Padula was uh, strictly dealing with confidentiality. The, uh, the Bible model, uh, looking at integrity, uh, and at this point we'll just look at the, the multi-level uh, model, and, and so we've got a high integrity level, we've got a you know, moderate integrity level, and we've got a low integrity level. And uh, we may... Uh, in uh, dealing with this, uh, think of the example of um, a, a bank. Uh, and uh, we will say that the, uh, the tellers, um, oddly enough, uh, deal with uh, information at the highest level of integrity. Uh, and you would think, you know, the, the tellers, the frontline workers are, are uh, not the most important. But remember, we're talking about integrity here. And the tellers have to perform with the highest accuracy. Uh, down to the penny. Well, I suppose nickels nowadays. Uh, because, for some reason, uh, nobody uh, wants to uh, get the wrong change when they're do extra pennies or nickels yeah, and it, you know people are even annoyed these days that uh, you know the pennies have disappeared and, and uh, that sometimes you lose a couple of cents uh, when that's the the way it works out and, and uh, you know you have to round uh, down uh, because it's only two cents rather than three cents and whatever Anyway, so, um, so the tellers have the highest level of integrity and, and, and accuracy in terms of what they have to do. Now, uh, there are other people in the bank who are dealing with businesses and therefore dealing with larger amounts of money, and uh, they may only have to deal with a you know, dollar amounts. They're, they're not going to have to deal with anything in, this, in the cents level, anything below a dollar, because uh, they are dealing with businesses or larger businesses, whatever, and uh, they only have to be accurate. Uh, the integrity of their data only has to be to the nearest dollar amount. And then there are uh, people in the bank who are dealing with the uh, the government and uh, the federal government, a large institution, and uh, dealing with lots and lots and lots of money, and they don't care about anything uh, less than a hundred dollars. Let's let's say, yeah, we're remember we're doing an example here. Um, so. Uh, in terms of the integrity here, we have a simple integrity condition. And, and where in Bill Padula, it was no read up. You cannot read uh, 
information that's that's more sensitive than your level of clearance here you can't read down you can't read information that is at a lower level of integrity a, a lower level of accuracy and so for example the tellers cannot read any information that comes from the business section because the business banking people are only dealing with accuracy to the nearest dollar. And therefore, that is not accurate enough for the tellers to do calculations based on that information. That information is not going to be as, uh, uh, as accurate as the tellers need. So that is the, the simple integrity condition. And the star integrity condition, in the, in the same way, I mean, this is just an inversion of the bell Lepagula model, and so they still call it a star integrity condition here, uh, is no right up. So the government banking people cannot provide information, cannot write reports to the business banking people because their information is not accurate enough. The integrity of what they're doing is not sufficient for the, the business people. Uh, the, the government people are not doing uh, information to that level of accuracy. And so anything that they write, any reports that they write, would not have sufficient accuracy to be used by the business banking people. And so in order to preserve integrity and, and the proper level of accuracy, uh, that has to be uh, the conditions that are fulfilled. No read down no reading of information that is less accurate than you need and no write up you cannot have information uh, you cannot write information uh, to a, a different level of accuracy a, a, a different um, entity that requires more accurate information that's uh, that the integrity of of that um, other system um, requires an accuracy that you're not dealing with so uh, in order to preserve that uh, those are are the condition now there is additionally as, as I say uh, this invocation property you cannot send a message and, and a message in uh, you know this is uh, sort of like object orientation a message is a request for a function um, it is it is going to ask somebody to do something and you cannot send a message um, to a subject of higher integrity because your request is going to be based on a lower level of integrity and therefore may corrupt uh, what that, that subject is, is doing when it has a higher uh, level of integrity. Uh, so uh, we, we don't want to allow that. And this is, this is where we get into uh, the more... Uh, uh, well, the, the lattice area that we, you know, we're extending what we're doing um, to a different area. We're not, uh, you know, there is no corresponding uh, uh, activity in, in regard to Bill Lapadula. So um, we are looking at a situation now um, where uh, our multi dimensionality starts to come into play. Uh, so that's uh, why the, the BIBA. Uh, goes into a lattice model uh, rather than the strictly multi-level model that is Bell the Padula.